In the end of April, I traveled to Greece to celebrate the Greek Easter with my family, and I decided to document what a Greek Easter is. I think the most qualified person to tell you about the Greek Easter would be my boyfriend Soto, so I'm gonna let him bore you to death. Hello, I'm the expert on account of Ariane being a filthy heretic. So, let's go. We Greeks take Easter very seriously. Throughout the Greek world, and in those countries that still follow Greek orthodoxy, like Russia, Easter is held as the holiest of celebrations, and even Christmas comes second in our minds. Traditionally, Greeks will fast for 40 days before Easter, a period known as the Sarakosti. The Lent culminates in the last week before Easter, known as the Great Week. Each day of this week has its own importance and symbolism, but Friday, or Great Friday, is arguably the culmination of it all. So here we are in my country house in um, Greece, and we're here for the Orthodox Easter, which happens this year on the 28th, Sunday the 28th of April and I would like to document it because it's always interesting. I know that in France and England it's not exactly the same thing, we don't pay attention as much to Easter than we do in Greece, so um, yeah, it's a way to show people that don't know what a Greek Easter is. By the time of Great Friday, the Greeks consider that Christ has been crucified. Once nighttime falls, the faithful gather at their local church for the most important day in the Orthodox world. Christ's body is taken off the cross and placed upon a bier, whereupon he will be carried around the street in a grand procession. After the somberness of Friday, we move on to happier things. The following weekend celebrates the resurrection and finally releases the faithful from their mourning. A big part of uh, Easter is that we boil eggs and we paint them red. And on the resurrection day, so on Saturday, you just take an egg each and you smash it with the other. If your egg breaks, you lose. If your egg doesn't, you win. So it's like a small game you do. It is the first time that people that land get to eat eggs after 40 days, so... Yay! Greeks will traditionally bake kulurakia, or biscuits, and spend time in church. The faithful will then receive the Agio Fosh, or Holy Light, and use it to mark their front door with the sign of the cross. After this final tradition has been observed, it's time to eat. Traditionally, an Orthodox household will prepare a Magyaritsa, this is a simple soup made of sheep innards. And now comes the really good part, Sunday. Christ has risen and all Greeks celebrate with a grand day of roasting. On a typical Easter Sunday, the air is filled with the scent of a dozen barbecues going off at once, making it one of the greatest days for Greeks, and arguably the worst for any vegans out there.
By Monday, it's all over. But Ariadne simply cannot stop. This time, her and her brother made what is known as Il Flottante, a French delicacy they would present to their neighbours they've known for decades. The inevitable result, of course, was a second barbecue. Because you know, she really needed two feast days to recover from not doing the Lent. And that is a typical Greek Orthodox Easter. Now, of course, there are many other traditions all across the land, one more beautiful than the other. For example, I would highly recommend you Google Hios Firework Walls and enjoy the show. So if you were curious about what the Greek Easter is, now you should know a bit more about it. I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I'll see you next week. Bye!